Greetings and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today is September 6th, 2024, and we are continuing our documenting series that we've been doing of the changes in the property lot behind my backyard garden. And so, this is construction work that started on August 12th. And prior to that, this was all dense forest like that is over there. And of course I couldn't see over to there, but that's a street out there that's called Mink Lane. And everyone surrounding this property opposed this including myself. But now we have to stand in acceptance for what is, and this is what is, so I'm showing you what is, what is happening. What does 218 mean? I don't know. I don't know. And I see there's a marking there. So we're gonna find out. Maybe that'll be the first house, the backyard of the first house. I know over here, over here they have planned a retention pond. Maybe, maybe it's going to be here. Or maybe it'll be back there. I'm not sure. So that'll either be a good thing or not a good thing, depending on if it attracts mosquitoes and stuff. Which I don't think it will. It, it'll probably be done right. Um, we have had excessive mosquitoes in our area lately. Um, which has been kind of annoying. But, you know, there are natural ways to take care of that. So here's the back of my property here and um it looks like there's a lot of debris that we need to clean up our previous the previous owners of this house use this like everybody does i mean all the neighbors here they just dump their stuff back here i try to recycle my garden waste here and i'm creating a compost pile but let's uh let's climb over this wall and let's see what's happening in the garden because I wanted to show you what's exciting and what is beautiful amidst this chaos and, and I have to listen to it all the time. And I took a little break, I went away because the, the sound of doing all that is just really nerve wracking. So it's been a little while since I, I did a video update and the garden is in its, um, and it's pretty much overgrown stage. I'm gonna be cleaning a lot of it out and getting ready to start over. And I'm kind of excited about that. But what I'm more excited about is, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is so beautiful. This is called Hyacinth Bean. And um, it, it it's such a gorgeous vine to look at. You can see how I have it growing here. And I have other things growing here too. There's a morning glory right there. And on that side are some other beans that I'm saving those beans and they're drying out for seeds and shelling. And then I have a tomato that's also growing up there. So I have multiple things here, but this attracts a lot of hummingbirds and butterflies and different things. So it's it's been a pleasure to watch. So if this is something that you would like to have in your garden, I will be selling these seeds on my website. So you'll have to check that out. Uh, once it's ready, I will put a posting on my social media page. So make sure you subscribe there and then you can find out all the latest videos and articles that I write about different things that are going on. So look, isn't that a beautiful visitor we see over there? So that makes me so happy to see that. And since they they cut down all of that back there, I have had more wildlife in my backyard and I actually welcome that. I really, really love it. So it's like they have a place. And in my front yard as well, they have a place. Oh, I'll just walk over here and then we'll end the video because it's, I don't want to make a long video. Oh, I got to show you the caster. I did take a video of it the other day, but I didn't post it, but I'm probably gonna post this video. So check this out. Next to it is a 
Jerusalem artichoke, but this is the biggest caster I have ever grown. And I absolutely love it. It makes me so happy to see this. And there's one that's smaller. So the size of it depends on when you start it in the winter and when you get it in the ground. And if it has just the right amount of sunlight, right amount of nutrients, then you'll get it to be this size. So this is another one. You can see those seeds there. I am gonna be collecting these seeds as well and selling them on my website. So stay tuned. Um, and I'll also have some instructional videos on how you take care of these and grow these. If you would like to have one of these gorgeous, gorgeous plants in your yard. I mean, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. It makes me want to cry. I just love it. All right. So until the next video, stay tuned and I will see you later. Bye-bye.